My good afternoon, Wild Tribe. We are about to start the outdoor kitchen. I was going to do it out the back, as I mentioned. Um, however, I've organised the girls to come for her maiden voyage for lunch on the weekend. And at the moment, everything I need is actually at the front. Just had so much on, like everyone else, and haven't actually got to the back properly, properly. So I will take you through some around. So in this space, which is down in an unused corner, got our lovely grass. You've seen this area before. See all this beautiful grass with all this amazing rain. That's the pumpkin vine, it's gone mental. Um, so here, I will be putting our outdoor kitchen and a small herb garden amongst some other things. Now over here, I have been collecting soldier worm larvae. I don't know if we can see any at the moment. Mm, yes, yes we can. Oh, come back here you beautiful little creature. I'll pause and I'll try and get it up. Come on, focus. You're not going to focus for me, are you? I don't know if you can actually see those tiny little bugs in there. Yes, that there is the soldier fly larvae. Now they are amazing composters. Um, really great when you've got chickens and things like that because the chickens will eat them out too. But um, these guys will actually go through all of the compost super quick. Um, so I'm going to dump that in the bottom of my herb garden, top it up with some amazing soil and some more compost. And I've got some little tiny baby cherry tomatoes and some black cherry tomatoes to put in um, some greek basil and a few other parsley a few other things um ready to go for the rocket stove and we're cooking in our outdoor kitchen just to pick fresh produce put straight in feed the fam so here we go i'm just oh pull my hair out so step one just popping some cardboard down we're about to go and grab another piece of cardboard um and that way it just i don't have to worry about all that grass around it we can get in with the whipper snipper around here and get into that because we'll have plenty of garden around here with other bits and bobs that um, are going to go just crazy with the rocket stove probably about here garden at the back and I'll probably put I've got another tire that can go here just that zucchini vine is not like it in there it's too humid so I'll probably pull that little darling out especially with this crazy weather we're having lately. How's everyone's weather here in Australia? I'll pause and I will come back with the next step. Now I just come across a little problem and that's at the back here. So eventually this is gonna have to be moved, um, but everything else around it, I want to be able to be left without too much drama. So I'm gonna just rip this grass up here. I've already ripped up down in along there and use the last bit of cardboard just to cover in here and maybe put down some strawberries or something and maybe um, some other herbs and things like that just to be able to get to for the kitchen. So I'm a little bit short right there for some cardboard. I'm gonna go down. I think I've got some extra in the car. Thank you to Bayview here in Bow Desert. Okay. Now, Wild Tribers, we have every available inch covered in lovely thick cardboard. Yep, I pulled them zucchinis out. They can be some green manure composting underneath. And I think those strawberries should do well in there. Hopefully it doesn't get too hot and we will see. Anyways, time to get on to the next stage. Okay, finding somewhere stable was interesting. So I've had to come out a bit and change the plans around. This is an old chair, this is just a paver. And we're going to put some bricks on top of that and build the rocket stove where we will cook our dinners. And I'm gonna have to do a take two, I think, because my phone's going to die. That's what happens when we've got seven in the house. <laughs> they all use mum's phone. <laughs> 